My name is Chris McElvenna and myself and my husband own the Green Briar Inn here in Coeur d'Alene. It's been everything from a bordello to a nunnery to a boarding house to a rooming house for men. When my husband and I bought this in 1984, it was vacant and had been vacant for almost three years. We spent the better part of the year fixing the place up and in April of 85 we opened it as the Green Briar Bed and Breakfast Inn. Late 86, I opened a catering business, Greenbrier Gourmet Catering, which is still flourishing. We're the largest independent caterer in North Idaho. In uh, 2001, we purchased a small Huckleberry Products business, Wildberry Huckleberry Products, and we've expanded the line from seven products to 27 products. In 2008, we opened our dinner restaurant here. It's called the 315. And our address is 315 Wallace. The time that we open is 315 p.m. Um, you can order dinner or tapas. We have a martini bar. We have a wine bar. We have outside patio and deck seating. We generally have live music at least three nights a week light blues and light jazz, and that would be Tuesday, Friday, Saturday night. I love the fact that people that work here, I give a lot of freedom to uh, so that they can create what it is their specialty is. In the case of the bar, um, special drinks that no one else does around here. In the case of the kitchen, unique food and food presentations that no one does but a lot of people imitate. I think that it's a unique environment. I mean, it's a 103-year-old home. Um, there's no place like this in town. The owners are incredibly open to creativity, and that's an important thing to me. After being in the restaurant business for 12 years, <laughs> I've only ever worked at one place that was similar to this, where it feels like family. So you're part of a group, there's camaraderie there, and you feel like a family member here, and that's really, really unique. When um, I first started working here, my husband told me that I had found the hidden gem of Coeur d'Alene. Uh, what we're trying to do is come up with a, a place where pretty much anybody from any walk of life can come and enjoy a casual to fine dining atmosphere type dinner. I think the original idea from Tapas came from a trip that the owner, Chris, took to Spain. She came back with some Tapas ideas and started to bring that into the community here. Nothing is too far out there. Uh, and I, I pretty much have free reign for, from the bosses, so I come up with an idea. Um, we talk about it, taste it, if it's good, it goes on the menu, or maybe we special it. We have farmer's markets in town that I like to go to and get produce from here and there. Um, for the most part, definitely locally minded. Our salmon is fished by a local fisherman. He goes up to Alaska every season and comes back with, with our sockeye salmon. I can know that they can always come here, have a great meal at an affordable price, and always, always leave happy. I've spent most of my career with this place trying to please people, make them happy, give them a memory that they can look back on. And obviously good food goes with good memories.